bullshit. We go over there? Yeah, we going. We got time to be bullshit. What's going on? I don't know. I just say, uh, uh, all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? Double honors to the apostles with great millstone. We just out here on the OSU campus. Uh, we're just going to bring out some scriptures. We're just going to go with the spirit. Right? Get, uh, get a, matter of fact, get John 10. John 10. Yeah. John 10. <clears throat> Switch whenever you know. Alright, yeah, we can do that. This is uh, John 10. What's up, one? Yeah. John 10 and 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door in a sheepfold, but cometh up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the potter, porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. Oh, yeah, the sheep hears his voice. So that's why we out here, you know what I'm saying? We teaching this word. If anybody, you know, listen to us, that means they wanted the sheep fold. And we, we, Cause everybody ain't gonna listen. Most people, they ain't gonna hear nothing we say anyway. They're not gonna listen to us. And the scripture said many are called, but few are chosen. So we're not out here for everybody. The hell with everybody. We out here for the elect. And that is it. The elect of Israel. What's up? It's crazy out here. Verse three says, "To him, it's like a verse four. No, yeah, three. To him, the porter openeth, and his sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know him his voice." Right, so that's why we following your house by some of y'all. Oh, what's up? What's good? <laughs> how you doing? Yeah, how you guys doing? Doing alright. Yeah. Yeah, that's the spirit. Okay, You yeah. just never know where, where we might be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, it says, um, uh, 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 okay, it says, when you put it forth for his own sheep, you go before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger would not follow. Right, so, yeah, so it's like one of us, we ain't gonna go follow after one of these one of these strangers, like one of these pastors. You ain't gonna catch up in these churches going to Sunday service, taking communion. You know what I mean? Going going on an Easter egg hunt with, with the family. You ain't gonna see us out there doing that, bro. So, Cause that's why a lot of Jake don't follow these churches. Cause they know it's bullshit. They be like, I don't wanna go there, it's just boring. To learn the truth should not be boring. I remember we used to go to church when we was kids. I look over, look at my dad, he be asleep. Every time the pastor start talking, he fall asleep. That shit was boring. He didn't teach you nothing, he just put you to sleep. Yeah, we out here to teach people. What's up? We just got, we just got here. Oh, did you? Yeah. We just little. Hey, Dave, you want number two, Gary? Uh-oh. <laughs> Dave. But, uh, it says, I'm, 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 I got a point, let me read this again. Uh, it says, when he put it forth, his own sheep, he go before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And the stranger would not follow. Like, uh, at first, you know, the Lord speaks to you men, of course, so, you know, prophets out there teaching in the streets, and people hear it, or in the videos, whatever, how you, however you hear it, yeah. and they, they hear that voice, and they know, okay, this, this, you know, he says, it says, uh, they know his voice, so they know, oh shit, this is the truth, this gotta be the truth. Yeah, it resonates with their spirit. Yeah. And he says, a stranger would it not follow. So, he, so if you a brother that's in the truth, that's sincere, well, let me say, if you the elect, you're gonna be grounded in this, uh, this faith, and um, you'll nothing. know it's the truth as soon as you're here. Yeah, and you never, you're not gonna sway up. You're not gonna if somebody come up with some bullshit. Even if, even if it does sound enticing, you be able to, to uh, you know, pretty much right. say fuck that. Yeah, because you have people going. come out and say, oh, oh, the real Bible was written by the Sumerians and the Anunnaki. You know what I mean? What's that? Because you got a lot of people that say some bullshit. They'll be like, uh, 
oh, Jesus is actually just a sun god. He's made up. He's not real. You know what I mean? But when you, if you know your history and you've done your homework, you will know that the one that they call Jesus Christ is an actual person that actually lived. You know what I mean? There's more written about him than any other person in the history of the earth. It's just innumerable accounts. There's more written about him than was written about Caesar. Uh, Julius Caesar, you know what I mean? It says, it says, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake you how it shined to them, but they understood not what things they were, they were what he spake unto them. Then said you how it shined to them again. Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Oh, yeah, yeah how it shines the door. Go ahead. It's all that. Oh, yeah, also, that he's a door. That means you can't uh, be saying, you can believe whatever you want. You got people be like, well, you know, the Hindus, the Buddhists, the Muslims, they all believe in the same God anyway. They'll try to say that, you know what I mean? They be like, it's all different paths, different paths to the same place. Nah, nigga. But they said, the house Shai said he is the door. He didn't say Muhammad was the door. He didn't say the Buddha was the door. The Buddha and Muhammad ain't no door, that's a pit of spikes. You know what I'm saying? That's a gas chamber. That's a fuck. That's a, a torture chamber. That's a mi that's a missile explosion. I got preset. That's a missile sandwich. Yeah, I got uh, preset. <laughs> it's uh, John 14. John 14. It says, in six, Yahshua said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Yeah, no man coming to the Father but by your house shot. Look at that, bro. But uh, oh shit, what the hell? They coming for us. Yeah. <laughs> keep on it. But anyway, I want to say something. Um, I want to say, oh yeah, like uh, like you said, I'm pretty much like you said, uh, all religions like a uh, different paths and shit. Yeah. But I mean. Break that scripture down. What does that mean? There's only one way, like like the Lord said. There's anybody one that, way. Anybody that goes, uh, what he said, that goes over. How's it say? I'm gonna go back to John 10. It says. Yeah, cause you know I was talking, but that's what the uh, Freemasons teach. Pretty much, they'll say uh, to be a Freemason, they'll say you can, you can be a member of Freemasonry, but you gotta believe in God, or any. It could be any God though. You know what I mean? But that's one of the requirements. I'll tell you, cause they, they they accept all everything and mix it all together. Shit, well, if, if you if you have a house and somebody goes through your fucking window, man, look, look at these goofy. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. He says, if you if you if, if, Lord, I'm like, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> they they gotta be shooting a movie or something. Uh, um, uh, Saint Martin Tomax. Things are weird out here. Really, it's, it you, was like twins, actual twins. Yeah, like what the hell? What the That's fuck? women do, man. Anyways, if you if you have a house, you're not just gonna if you if you see somebody fucking going in the window and shit. That's you gonna shoot them. You gotta go. You gotta go through the. You gotta go through the right way. Oh, you get door. shot going through the window. Yeah. It says I'm gonna go back to verse one. I'm gonna go back down. It says, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way. The same as a thief and a robber. Uh, so really, the only way uh, to the truth is right here. We the only ones that got the truth. Okay. Where you at? I'm gonna skip down uh, back to where I was on uh, verse, verse seven. Then said you, I was shining to them again. Verily, verily, I said to you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. All that ever came before me. So there was there was people before the Lord. Like who? All them other philosophies came. Uh, Egypt. It, all that Egypt said. They always like Egypt is older. So the Lord said all those that came before me was thieves and robbers. All that Osiris, Horus, all that madness. You got a when your cat dies. You got to mummify the cat. You know what I mean? Mummifying bulls. You know, that's just some weirdo stuff. That's only something a weirdo would do. And then they worship Osiris. Osiris is a green god. He got no penis. Remember he lost his penis? Yeah. He got, he got chopped up in a bunch of pieces by Seth. 
and then they couldn't find his penis. They found all of his parts of his body, but his that, that what kind of crazy hey, bug that stuff then, is that? Then the bitch found his penis and started jacking off and made a yeah, yeah. She, she knows, she knows whatever. We That's know crazy. That's an insanity. And then you know she got pregnant with whatever the fuck that nigga. But you got people believing in some Egyptology, Wrong. some Kemet. But they try to say she a virgin though. That's how they say. That's how they try to say Jesus is the virgin birth or whatever because they got out. that from Egypt. But she found a dick and that's you know, bugged out, bro. And jizz and there you go. Sun God rock. Like that makes no damn sense. That's insanity. They be like, you just don't understand the science behind that, brother. You know? That's insanity. It's like she fucking a dead person pretty much. I mean, she's fucking a dead. Yeah, because really all that stuff go back to ancient Babylon. We had the similar stories with Tom Luz and Nimrod. Uh, the bug, yeah. Cause you you got people be like, uh, they'll say the Anunnaki is the truth. And the mankind was created by, by the Anunnaki. But that, you know, just because something's older don't mean it's true. The Lord said all that came before him was thieves and robbers. Hey, that's a good scripture. Hey, what scripture number was that one? 10-1. I'm going to remember. That's I mean, a good one to pull out. Yeah. Somebody says just because something's older, it means it's true. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They see you hear that all the time. Older than Egypt, yeah, Babylon's older than Egypt. It says, it says, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But he that is in hireling and not the shepherd whose whose own the sheep are not. Seek if the wolf see if the wolf cometh and leaveth the sheep and flee it fleeth and the wolf catcheth them and scatters the, the sheep. So yes when the wolves hey you got one of the wolves in Israel. Like IUIC with Nathaniel. That's a wolf. You know what I mean? He got you up there. He telling his congregation. He telling him it's okay that you can uh, take the mark of the beast. You can take the microchip. And also, Nathaniel tell you he a wolf in sheep clothing because he come and he'll tell everybody they're Israelites. I mean, that's true. He said, it gives you a lot of truth. But at the same time, he's a detective for the NYPD saying it's okay to take the microchip. You know what I mean? That's a that's a a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. And all them other raggedy uh Israelite groups. What was that new group? The uh one body and one body. Shy, they saying the mark of the beast is not the microchip either. So they are wolves. Oh yeah, cause I was watching the brother uh Shar Mapa uh channel. Right? Yeah. And he he brought out the video with uh the what's it called, one body? Yeah. They, they they was telling brothers if you get if the Lord comes back and you're not wearing fringes that you're gonna be destroyed. You know, that, what kind of crazy stuff is that? And then you gotta have beautiful garments. What if you taking a bath? Man? You, know, you got no covers on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a scripture in Revelation that says keep your garments. So the garments is the same thing as the armor and the same thing as the sword. That's the word. You know what I mean? In the faith. Cause you ain't gonna get saved by keeping the law perfectly. You gotta be wearing fringes every day. Man, you go to work, you get fired from your job wearing fringes. They be like, this guy is crazy. Get him out of here. Yeah, make yourself a target. Yeah. Good niggas. It's uh, Revelation 16 and 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Let's see that watcheth and keepeth his garments. He see walk naked. And they see it's shame. Oh, that's the spirit went into that thief again. Yeah, oh, uh, so yeah, that go like a IUIC, bro. They're gonna tell you to keep your garments when you're actual garments. You get saved from wearing fringes and keeping the law perfectly. Because nobody can keep the law perfect, it's impossible. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's impossible. But I mean, you try your best, we're gonna be eating no pork or nothing crazy. But we all be doing some, some messed up stuff. 
What's that? 18 real quick. You know, the scriptures say that you can't, if you work on the Sabbath, and the old law says if you work on the Sabbath, you gotta be put to death. You know what I mean? 8 Carl South High, North Vietnam. But what happens if you got a job in this world you get, and they force you to work on the Sabbath? That means you, you breaking the law, you gotta get put to death, right? You gonna tell me everybody keeps the Sabbath perfectly? No, they don't. I bet you IUIC don't keep the Sabbath perfectly. They say it's fucking Saturday. Yeah, they're saying the Sabbath is Saturday. I think they went into the new moons. They said the new moon's a full moon. Yeah. You know, they bugged out, bro. Yeah, because I, I be having to work on the Sabbath all the time. Yeah. If you don't go to work, guess what? You, you, don't, you don't got a job. You don't eat. It's, uh, this is Mark 2. The 23th is going to be kind of long, but, uh, it says, it came to pass that he went through the cornfields on the Sabbath day, and the disciples began, as they went, to pluck the heirs of the corn. And the Pharisees said unto him, Behold, why the day on the Sabbath day, which, which is not lawful, it's like. And he said unto them, Have ye never read what David did when he had he when have need, and was in hunger, he and they that were with him? How he went into the house of God in the days of, of, of his heart, the high priest, and they eat the showbread, which is not lawful to eat, but for the priest. Yep. He gave also to them which were with him. And he said unto them, The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore the Son of Man is the Lord also of the Sabbath. Right, exactly. The Sabbath was made for man, not the man for the Sabbath. So sometimes you got to work on the Sabbath. You know what I mean? Just like the other time, was that when he said, Would you pull out your, uh, your, 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 uh, your animal out the ditch? Your beast out the ditch if they throw in the ditch on the Sabbath, or would you let them die? It's way down here. Yeah, so you know, you can get it if you can. Um, yeah, so people, you don't get saved by keeping the law, all right? Like, right, because on the Sabbath, sometimes you got to break the law. Yeah, what if your animal fell in the ditch? You got to do all kind of work to get them out. Uh, well, it doesn't, well, it says. I'm it don't, it don't say that one. I don't know the other Yeah, that's that. in a different... I think that's when he was talking to the scribes and Pharisees. Yeah. But that was right there. They cursed him out because, they, like you said, they went into the field. Yeah. But it was another one where he uh, they asked him a question and he answered them. No, because he healed somebody on the Sabbath. Yeah, it says right here, but I, don't, I can't find the one that says ditch. That's all right. Don't even worry about it. They right. get a point. Everybody know that scripture. Right, right, right. It's uh, Luke 18 and 8. <laughs> He says, I tell you, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Ain't going to be a whole lot of faith, you know what I mean? It's going to be that elect. You see any faith out here? Bro, there ain't no faith out here. This is madness. This is fucking madness and confusion and chaos and disorder. This is filth. Slime. It said, okay. it said, shall he find faith on the earth? Not, shall he find somebody that keeps the law? It didn't say hey, that. That's true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you mean, yeah, you get, hey, get that uh, Matthew 23 and, uh, man, we just read the whole chapter, Matthew 23. But now, yeah, that's probably that's a long chapter, though. Yeah. Hey, we should read the whole chapter. Long as hell. Yeah. Well, it is pretty long. Let's we'll just get to the point where he said they omitted the weightier matters of the law. 23, 23. Matthew 23, 23. It says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you for you pay tithe for mint and, and anise. Oh, yeah, your boy from Nathaniel from IUIC. Uh, he, he could be Caiaphas in the reincarnation. You know what I mean? He, he, got, that, he got that old... That old high priest look to him. The old crooked ass high priest look to him, don't he? You know what I'm saying? All oh, crooked. He got the best garments, you know, got the best jewelry. You know, he's all nice looking, all proper. Speaks eloquent Eng English, never cusses. They got that Caiaphas spirit. And he be the first one to say we have no king but Caesar. Hey, all he said, he said it was okay to take the microchip. That's bugged out that he still got followers. Saying it was okay to take a microchip.
Stay in the market of beast without the mic microchip. This place is crazy. <laughs> what do they be doing out here? Oh man. It says and Kimmon have admitted the winner of matter of the law. Judgment it's like it have admitted Okay, and have admitted omitted the waiter matter of the law. All right, like this is going to be an IUIC video. We don't we don't like them anyway. But uh, they omitted the weightier matters of the law, which is judgment, mercy, and faith. Did you already read that part? I didn't read all of it. It says the judgment, mercy, and faith. These all you have done, and not to leave the other undone. Yeah, so that's the main thing that matters. That anything we do is judgment, mercy, and faith. You gotta learn how to be merciful. You can't be getting on brothers for every last little thing, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, what about our prostitute? There's a scripture where the Lord said a prostitute would be in the kingdom before these fools. You know what I'm saying? She out there being a prostitute, selling her body for money so she can survive. Even though she hates doing it, but in her spirit, you know, she's she praying to the Most High to deliver, you know what I mean? And she'll, she'll get saved because of her faith before uh, Nathaniel and the IUIC people. What scripture is that? I'm gonna look that up. I can read this and I can hold it when you hold the camera. Okay, okay. This is uh, Matthew 9 and 10. It says, And it came to pass, as Yahweh Shai sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat, sat with them and the disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eat if, why eat if your master were publicans and sinners? But when Yahweh Shai heard that, he said unto them, They that behold, ye not a physician, but they that be are, that are sick. But go, but go ye and learn. Oh yeah, I see like people. Huh? Is that or whatever? Probably a nurse. That's the spirit, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, what'd it say? Physician. Oh yeah, phys oh yeah, that's, that's the spirit. Let me get a zoom in on that one. Dang, that's crazy. As soon as you're talking about a physician, you got some doctors and nurses walking by. It, that stuff like that happens all the time. Uh. What was you saying? Oh yeah, cause you you got people to get on brothers, cause we be hanging out with some. Oh, like they get on the elder of our car, cause he was hanging out with bikers or whatever. Hey, when the Lord was doing the same thing, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, you gotta be careful, but hey, you can give these people the truth. Yeah. You know what I mean? They deserve to hear the truth just like everybody else. Yeah. yeah it's like the Lord when he sat with them, you know, he taught them. When he used to, what he do? He ate with them. You know, he, uh, uh, he went, I don't know, I don't think he was, I, think he, I don't know if he's wicked or not, but he went to one dude's house. He had all, all the people around. Yeah. Him up, I forgot his name. I think it was like a leper or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Simon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes, you know, that's how you get the word out sometimes. You know, yeah. you sit down and talk. As long as you don't, I mean, you know, it's like a moderation. Don't you don't know, join forces with yeah. him and just switch sides. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Every day and shit, like, you're supposed you know, to be giving them the truth. You know what I mean? You're supposed to be on a mission. And we on a mission. You know what I mean? After enough. Oh, fuck yeah, after a while, you can't take it no more. You're like, I, I can get away from y'all raggedy bastards. Unless you like, it's like, say if you work with a motherfucker. Yeah. What you gonna do? Hey, get the fuck away from me. You know, you sit next to you at work or something. Because you got brothers that know uh, famous people hanging out with wicked ass famous people. You know what I mean? But you gonna try to hit them with the truth. 